Right, just an update on the um, thermostat and the thermostat, uh, which I've rigged up now. What I've done, I've got it exiting the bike here, as you can, if you can just see that there. Now, what I've also done here, I'm just test, testing it. Now, I've been out on it today, and it, it is very, very accurate to the ambient temperature. Now, I've, here I've got... Um, a household thermostat and that's showing 24 3 centigrade or Celsius. I've also got um, you know my uh, multimeter which has a thermostatic tester and that's showing 25 or it's flashing between 25 and 24 which is the same as the household one. Now the Nuda one uh, the way I've got it set up shows 22.5 Celsius but I think it's not really accurate now what's happening here is if I just touch the uh, ter the ends I've got out there straight to 24 and the thing is with the uh, nuda it doesn't go doesn't seem to go 23 24 if I hold them a bit more to warm up it will go now to 24 and a half and then 25 but when it drops when it drops back down to nearly 24, just under 24, it doesn't go to 23, it goes straight to 22 and a half. So, so what that what that means, I don't know. But um, I've been riding around today. Um, I mean, I haven't done an exact test on how much fuel and that I'm using, but it, the bike seems a lot more, um, let's say, uh, the engine runs a lot better or yeah a little bit more um well not responsive um i don't really know how to describe it really a little bit it just feels a lot nicer to try it's not as snatchy that's the way to put it um and it's quite warm here and i've been doing i mean steady taking slow traffic and things like that uh the engine when i do stop it does heat up a bit but nothing like it did before because that's where they're all sticking out so um yeah the heat from the engine does does affect it but as soon as you start going you can see see the uh, thermostat drop immediately so um yeah it's it's far better it seems to be far better than actually into the air box so um yeah so that's that'll do for now